showing you how to make a click button for your game. Now right now the first steps you will be needing to do is by going to start a GUI and click the plus button and then search for screen GUI. That will let us display the buttons. Then click plus button on screen GUI then search text button. It's not that one it's the one below that. Now once you press that press UI editor that will allow us to move the button and you can scale it and do whatever with it as you can see that's our button right there that's the part we were going to be scripting now we will be inserting a local script you can change the local script to anything you want but i'm going to change the quick sound as of now now what you want to do is delete the print script that's already there and we will be needing to add a sound so we can play it every time the player clicks so what we will be doing is add a sound to start the GUI so we can play the sound every time the player clicks but I already have a sound so I will be deleting so what you want to be doing is search up folder and then add it to start a GUI and we'll be renaming this to sounds this would keep it organized and we can add our sounds but I already have a sound like I said and I dragged it in and that's the ID if you would like to use it but I'll put all the assets in the description all right now we'll be starting to script our button so first thing we need to do is local player equals game dot players uh, local player that's what we will be putting on now next line local player GUI space if this locates the starter player GUI but from local player so like single player then after that we do player dot player GUI and after that press oops I forgot to put that then press enter and then after that we write button wait I mean local local we need to start with local so once you did local space button sorry I'm pretty slow typer as you can see but we do equal and then after that we will be writing player GUI dot screen GUI dot text button what this will do, we'll locate the button as you can see on the right. Now what to do is by pressing enter and then typing local space sounds. What we'll be locating is the sounds and starter GUI. This is so we can use the click sound and starter GUI inside the sounds folder. And after you do that, the two dots, then wait for child. What this will be doing, it will search for the sounds and start a GUI. It, this means it will not start without the sounds folder. This helps a lot in very many cases. And after you do that, press enter, then local. And now we need to search for the click sound. So what you do is type click sound space equals sounds then two dots then wait for child then again this will not start with the click sound button inside sounds folder now what you want to type inside the bracket is click sound this will only search for click sound like I said earlier now what you want to do is press enter twice and then type button dot mouse button one click this will only execute the script when we click the mouse button one and after that you type in two dots then connect brackets then function this will put it as a function then one bracket and then another bracket and then press enter now what we want to do is click sound two dots and then play and two brackets 
What this will do is execute the script inside of the mouse button one click. Now, as you can see, I'm going to test it and this will work. Maybe from here. It is working. Alright, now guys, remember to like and subscribe and anything you would like in the description on a new video, comment down below.